Boeing scandal, the history of, in the wake of John Barnett and the big um, whistleblower current scandal. Right. Give everybody a little background so they can feel out the John Barnett scandal a little bit more on this episode, Frankie C. Plus, Kate Middleton and Rose Hanbury. Who's Rose Hanbury? Rose Hanbury is the young lady who is rumored to be having an affair with Prince William, who they believe he's having a child with. She breaks her silence. What does she say? We'll share that with you. Uh, Plus, Representative Jeff Jackson taking it on the chin on TikTok over the TikTok ban. So we'll update everybody on that. Uh, Plus, President Trump is down to one week till he has to make that big fat $454 million payment. His lawyers filed an appeal today, and we'll tell you what that is and what that entails. Caitlyn Jenner is getting a new podcast. We always could talk about the new podcasts on the block. Who's Meryl Streep dating and why is it so interesting? Is it one of us? No, that would be awesome. Then Then you don't care. And who's it going to be? And to Dune or not to Dune, we'll discuss the latest uh, movie blockbuster all on this episode, my friends. Okay, hold on. I got something very alarming coming over. I just want to make sure it's true. How you doing there, Frankie C? I'm hanging in there, doing all right. It's, uh, It's Monday. Start right today's Monday, right? Mm-hmm. Holy crap! <laughs> You're having a good like, time. It feels like Wednesday or Thursday. It does feel it, to, Monday was. It was a week. To, this Monday was like a week. Yeah, I don't know what the hell, but uh, yeah, good. Doing all right. How are you? I'm doing okay. What's what's going on on your end over there? Mm. Just have to make sure that this is correct before I say anything. Just give me one second. Talk about ah, a little fact check. Okay. Say hi to everybody in the chat. Let's see. We got Sarah, Bird, TD Freelancer, Coco, Justice, Christine, uh, Robin. Appreciate it. you got Mercury hanging out with us tonight. Awesome. Love it. Mountain. Where's Mountain? I'm trying to see if that, we have a mountain in the chat. I don't see Mountain. All right, Frankie C. Uh, the Hello, everyone. The royal family has been talking about making a huge announcement. Yeah. Just announced from the royal family, Catherine, Princess of Wales, dead at the age of 42. What? She is survived by her three children, husband, Prince William, future king, Stop. siblings, real? Pippa and James, parents, Carol and Michael. That's not real. Are you are you kidding me right now? I'm just practicing for Wednesday. That's how I'm going to do it. When it actually, I'm going to. What's the matter with you? Just put it right What's in there. What's the matter with you? Why did would you, you do feel, that? Did you feel Cronkite in that? Did you? Did you what? feel? <sighs> no. You see what to, you did. To, do you have? Look what you did to people in the chat. Tried to you cronkite. Really, you, that was no. You don't. That that was messed up. Messed <laughs> did I get up, everybody? <laughs> you got everybody. Well, why would you? Why? Would you think we wouldn't? You wouldn't have gotten everybody. <laughs> I was practicing my shit. I'm, I'm trying to be professional podcaster, journalist. Uh, playing a little fast and loose with the word professional there. <laughs> <laughs> you start, you go, oh, I got to fact check this. Give me a minute. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> and then it's, oh, dead at the age of, a, and it's like, whoa. That's going to make a hell that. of a promo. Hey, that's going to make a hell of a promo if I got you. You have to follow this podcast. Come on, that was that was fun for everybody. No, <laughs> that was messed up, dude. You you I had you going. You went for it. Yeah, you did. Why yeah. wouldn't I? Well, it's a tough time. Everybody's on pins and needles with Kate Middleton. Why would you? You know, why wouldn't we have fall, fallen for that? You know, you acted like it was a real thing. We we all trust you <laughs> to give us the 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 friggin' The right stuff here, you know. Well, I only I, I only let it hang out there for like ten seconds. That was still. I like, could have let it go for reading, a lot longer. You were reading the whole survived by thing. That was. It was good, wasn't it? it was no. It was yeah, messed up. Scene. Thank you. No, no. How do you submit something for the Oscars? Do you know uh, with talent? 
<laughs> you gotta have talent first, then <laughs> you jump into a movie or something. I'm See? sorry. I'm trying to loosen everybody up on a Monday. I feel like everybody, it was a little tight in here. Everybody is freaking out over over Kate Middleton being I missing know. and what's going on. I know. And you come out with that, that's messed up. This is something to live by. We only trust Aaron. That's sound. You'll be all that's, right. That's what I live by. She's not going to steer you wrong. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. No, 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 that's 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 what I go by. That's a, only a person I trust. I don't even trust. I, here's a reason why I don't trust this guy. <laughs> that was messed up. Did if did, are you feel that way because I was so Walter Cronkite in that moment that it was like no, it had nothing to do with you. Guy? It oh. was the it was the literal. You were just announcing someone being dead. That's what it was. I thought it was all the talent that was coming across. No. Got it. No. Okay. Because no. no. that was extra, as my favorite Andrew Dice Clay would say, that was extra talent. There were, that wasn't in the ticket price. That, we, we didn't pay for that. Sometimes you go see Dice, he spreads in a little extra talent for everybody, just without any charging any Look extra. At everybody, everybody's pissed at you. Miss Justice, it's the only time I've ever been pissed off at you. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Well, Look at I Mercury. My, Justice, I'm sorry. My Monday was a horrible day. This is not what I was looking forward to. Well, isn't it great now that she's alive and well? Because that's the story I have for everybody that she's doing. But for, for like 15, 20 seconds there, we were all like, what are you talking about? And now we'll have that the greatest day ever. I can't stress how enough how fucked up that was. <laughs> Can I tell you? It was the start of the turnaround, though. Now look at how much fun everybody's having yelling at me. Nobody's making. having fun. <laughs> look, shake my head. Shake my damn head. Everybody's... <laughs> Everybody's pissed at you. You just pissed. Kate you Middleton pissed off is fine. Everybody watching and listening. She's fine. She's fine. Yeah, we wouldn't know that by listening to this podcast. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with Kate Middleton. <laughs> yeah. All right. I promise I won't do. I won't. What's the scouts honor? Is this three up? This one. I'm pretty sure it's oh, this one. This is a different one. I. That's a different. Don't do that. This one. Why isn't it this one? Because that's is it. That's well, one of these is a Nazi one. Remember in uh, in glorious uh, passes. This is three for Germans. Yeah, tipped it off. That was the tip off. Remember that was the tip off. Right. I always remember that. If I'm in a room with Nazis, I don't know which one it is, but I know this is a big deal. If if your decisions led you into a room with Nazis, question your decisions. It has in the past, so it's likely to happen again. Were you ever in a room with Nazis? I but I kicked the shit out of every one of those Nazis. I'll have you know, man. I can't trust a word you say in this whole. But here's a warning for everybody in this that's listening to this podcast here. I Nothing will, this person up here says. Hey, is hey. Is, is is trustworthy from here on this, out? Last episode when I could have flashed the Janine booger on the screen, I didn't. So I had one, and I had some. What do they you call that? Credit coming my no, way. No, you didn't. You, oh, so you didn't gross me out on one episode. So you get you get to to freak everybody. Look, see, Mercury. I was so upset, and I forgot to say hello to my favorite, Erin. <laughs> well, you can say hello now. She's here. She's in the in the chat. Erin is in the chat. By the way, Erin <sighs> may have. Erin is on a hot streak with show segments because, in light of her, well, first it was blind top five, then last person standing, now last blind top five on Friday which was a great topic, which was if our best pals had their own TV shows, which one would we watch? Right. And she came up with Raven's Cravens was one of the shows, right? Right. And then Raven just dropped what she is craving on this episode, which makes me think ah. that would be nice if we can get a Ravens Cravens on every show, on every podcast. An update from, from Raven. What what's yeah, what's on the menu for Raven tonight? Chocolate Which, covered almonds. Be careful because now I'm kind of in the mood for I love a chocolate covered almond right now. That would be amazing. Yeah, I like the chocolate. I'm not crazy about the almond. I'll after I it. after I devastate a mass amount of people, I like to kick back a couple of chocolate covered almonds and enjoy myself. Think about well, all I've accomplished. That's the you know the sociopath in you. <laughs> you piece of crap, you. Yeah. Jeez. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. It's a little. Now, you said sociopath. I say Orson Welles. You know what I'm saying? Six in one, half a dozen in the other. No. <laughs> you know, you, well, do you remember what happened with Orson Welles? Everybody yeah. thought it was real and they fucking flipped out. Yeah, yeah. I think there's like a movie or a documentary coming out about that again. All right. See, you could, you you made everybody think that that was what happened and it, it really messed with people's heads. Didn't go on for an hour. Like It was like, 10 seconds. Yeah. I, nobody ran through like, a window. I'm pretty sure. Know. Oh, man. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, Frankie C, uh, <sighs> Kate Middleton's doing just fine. She was walking at a farm the other day. TMZ has it. So call it all off. No big deal. You know what I'm saying? Everybody. Doing just oh, you sure? Positive. I, I am. Po well, now I'm going to put this in the live chat so everybody can enjoy themselves and watch it. People are saying that this is not her, but I think it's her. And TMZ says it's her. I'm going to go. Uh oh. Okay. How do I delete stuff? <laughs> Because that wasn't you supposed to porn out. out. You got porn that. open? Nope, nope, nope. Just a link to be on the show. <laughs> oh, I said be... delete that. Nope, I don't want to send that out. Unless no, you want everybody. Not. We should have it, everybody on the show at one point. Like, it's just a, a yeah. huge hundreds of, of screens. That would be fun. All around. That would be great. If that anybody does. got to click on that in, in, the, in the nick of time, uh, go ahead and we'll put you on. Don't worry. Was that out there? It was out there first. It might still be out there. I don't know. Right. It might be on Twitter. I don't think you could delete stuff from Twitter, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how it works. I just run right. it, Frank. I Everybody keep... finds their way into the uh, the green room of this show. We might let you on live. Yeah, we'll put you on live. What do I give a shit? Mm -hmm. I have a little fun with it. I have a little fun on a Monday. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're all awake now. Um, people keep saying we need a Discord. I, is that That's like a chat thing, right? um like a discussion yeah i think it's like mean? a discussion board or something i think i have discord but i just don't use it i don't i don't really I don't, know how to use it what is, i don't know that's an app i have no i've never heard of it yeah um yeah it's like an app yeah because i think i have one because somebody told me to go on it once you know me i just i'll download anything because i was gonna say you could have the discussions in the chat if you like I, I don't know what the difference would be well i think the difference would be that the that the discord chat could continue after the show's over it yeah like it just, it'd be on like all the time which i think that would be fun to do that'd be fun to have yes but how would that work I see understand. i think we're gonna put raven in charge mods help aunt yeah somebody with any sense of whatever yeah uh, it's definitely not me i've see, never even heard of this says discord causes discord see we can't have that you see, is, that the, is that the whole point of it isn't discord just i don't know i, I don't, don't know. know if you want to I start we, an aoa discord start it and then just share it with frank and i and so that we could we could talk in the comments well yeah but i'd like to have some control over it in case we have to turn it off one day in case it gets us in trouble Right. But I don't think it does because it's all like private stuff. I think if you're well, not we in could, the, we could control the comments if you wanted. If you know, you could d delete any unsavory comments that are. We don't, but if there's ever something, you know, not cool in the comments, or something, yeah, gross or racist or whatever. We, exactly. We get rid of that, that. That's exactly it. When if gross or racist stuff comes in, we gotta, we gotta. All right, now I got to get Mercury back on my side because I I feel like I feel like I've lost Mercury, and that's not where you I lost a be. few people. I think. <laughs> I mean, well, that I was, think everybody's back. I don't it know. It was rough. I like to think everybody's back. People tell me that uh, they're uh, back. No. <laughs> no, don't. Look, I like this. Beth is just Beth Cummings is just pledging to behave. <laughs> she just wrote, "I'll behave." That's good enough for me. We trust you. I like it. That's true. Why is Beth Cummings in here? She said she'd behave. Yeah, okay. We, that's one. We got one. All right. If uh, somebody makes up a rumor that uh, Princess Catherine is dead, would that get them kicked out of the new Discord? Just asking for a friend. I think it would disqualify you from having a Discord. <laughs> got it. You All right. dick. All right. Well, we weren't even up to that segment yet. I know. Well, that's what made it all. Don't say funny. I'm just saying, if you put <laughs> what I did next to Walter Cronkite telling everybody Kennedy was assassinated. Yeah, but the, the, it's the difference is one was real. 
I might have jumped the gun. She's not going to live forever, Frank. But you told you said the age, who she survived by. Well, I had to convince everybody. Time stamps it. I thought yeah. the age would have really, really yeah, hammered at home. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Thank you. There's nothing. To, don't don't oh, give yourself oh, too much credit. You it were, wasn't no, your acting. I thought you were giving me a compliment. I didn't. No, I was no. confused. No, I was saying that you you you, you screwed around. Any. Anybody could have just said, you know, could have just delivered the news like the, and just kept a straight face. You know, you just, you, you, you screwed. I'm not giving you credit for that. It was, just, it oh. was a jerk. It was a jerk move. You jerk credit? Jerk, jerk credit. <laughs> you get jerk credit. All right. Um, oh, Paige back is. in the chat. I haven't seen Paige in a while. I think she was investigating Kate Middleton. Maybe. All right, there it is in the live chat. Uh, so TMZ put the video out. I think Christine or somebody already said that that's not her. I don't know. I think it's her. Here's the thing. The TMZ has confirmed that it's her, so I'll go along with that. What weirds me out is she went and, and you tell me what you think about this. She went to a, a farm like a mile away from where she lives. Yeah. What? Yes. Oh, I thought you said no. <laughs> you were like, no. <laughs> she she goes to this farm because I saw the video and I go, but there's no like royals. There's no like security or whatever. And I'm like, they're, she's in like sweatpants and not sweatpants. What do they call those workout? Yoga pants. Okay. He's just wearing like a, like a ball cap. Like they look like any other 40 year old right. couple just like going out to get some veggies. Mm -hmm. And I, I, at first I thought, oh, I don't think that the Royals really do that, but I guess maybe they do. I guess they kind of do. I'm sure there's security all over the place. We maybe don't see them. They're not maybe obvious, but I'm sure there's, a, there's people walking around that are keeping an eye on everything. Because that's my argument for saying that it is real, that the fact that they're not like, I don't think they have to wear gowns to go get onions. No. Yeah, if they're just go and shop it they don't have to dress but, up like they're walking up to a red carpet or something right but then again do they go get onions like don't they i think they're not supposed to do menial tasks that's part of being in the royal family i mean but if they at the same time i think they could also do what they not what they want but they could also say hey guys i really want to do this i'm sure they can they can make you know special trips Right. And also, isn't that like a huge boost to the farm? Like, that's like a that's like a royal thing to do. Like, let's go over to this farm, buy some shit. Everybody's going to be talking about it. They'll be tweeting about it and get them some yeah. business and shit like that. I don't see why not. I'm sure that farm was a farmer's market or a regular, whatever. I'm sure now that, that you know, the highway traffic now. So who knows? Uh, it was funny to one of us, and I laughed that that's any consolation. Thanks, Bird. Let's not bring it back up again, though. I feel like I'm winning everybody Dude, back over. Yeah. This is nice page. You guys make me feel as famous as Kate Middleton. That was very sweet. Kudos nice. to the live chat for lifting up Paige on this episode. That's very nice. Uh Jackie says shopping for their little kids. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh you know they can do Aaron brings up a good point. Can we trust anything from the royal family at this point? I think she's talking about you. Oh. <laughs> I don't know though. What did I say? I didn't say anything that was a lie, though. Uh, no, I think did she's you missed about... the first half of the show so far. No, uh, no, uh, I, well, I think we're past that. Oh, besides think, that huge one, uh, um... I think Aaron's reacting to the. By the way, Aaron could pop in at any moment, <laughs> just so she knows. Like, I love the typing, but she can come on anytime she wants. I know this is like one of her areas of expertise. Um, I think. It's a little touch and go with the crown because of the Photoshop that they put out. And then I was reading that people were like, a new theory on why this is really screwed up is because she apologized. Kate apologized on Twitter. And people are saying that that wasn't her. That they're putting the blame on her, which is not something that they would normally do. Like when she blame was like, oh, what? Like when she was like, oh, it was a photoshopping error and I'm just like a an amateur photoshopper trying to get, you know, my, you know, we all make mistakes kind of deal. That that was like the crown throwing her under the bus mm. of like, there you go, Aaron. Well, if yeah. she uh, if she can go. Oh, Aaron, you're Aaron. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Now, I was going to say if she could go to uh, farm, you know, farmers markets and whatever, then maybe she does do her own photoshopping. You know, uh, 
could do her own farm shopping. She could do her own photo shopping. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. Aaron, was that a uh, lie towards me or towards the crown? No, it was toward the crown. And it's oh. just like the way I feel about it is that in the beginning, Frank, Frank can like attest that like this is like, this like is how I tracked my concern about her. Catherine's my girl. I've always liked her. She followed the rules. I'm kind of a rule girl. And I just thought that it was really great how she was put through her paces and she she did everything right. And she got, you know, and she still does like everything right. And I mean, you know, in the way of her style, in the way of her composure, and she always, you know, there are rules and decorum. And I just, I just love that. I just think that it's so admirable. So when she said she needed time and, you know, or the palace said she needed time and she would be back after Easter, I was like, yeah, like leave her alone. She'll be back after Easter. And then the photo came and I said to Frank, like, I would have left her alone till Easter, but this is so weird. Changed this everything. Not, the photo. Yeah. This is not okay. And now I'm actually scared for her. I feel like the people who were like leave her alone, who were in her corner, half of them split off, or maybe one third, and started saying the reason why we're breaking away from leave her alone is because we're concerned. We're not like the rabid people who were like show your face from the beginning. This was right. weird. So if this is another lie, people have said it's from when they were dating. People have said that she looks like when she did when she was younger. Again, I think Christine said you can't wear that stuff when you're royals. Um, you can't have no security when you're royals. If this is another or a double or another game that they're playing, I think the gloves should come off. I think that people need to find her because this is if this is strike two, we're not going to wait for a strike three where they pretend that she's alive, right? Mm. Yeah, I, I think you're right. I mean, if this is, I mean. I watched the video of her at the farmer's market thing and it looked like her for a second and then she walks and it's like it looks she looks different I mean I guess she looks thinner because of surgery and everything maybe that's why her face just looks a little different I you know I guess and it's also you know it's shot from far away he looks exactly like him he looks you know like a big dick yeah he does he just you know you spot him a mile away but her yeah she looks a little different but can you attribute that to the surgery or whatever she's been going through it's been months since we've seen her there could be weight changes there could be whatever's going on there could be anything it could be change of makeup whatever you know her hair she's also not wearing this, the clothes we're used to seeing her in so it, it could be all that it could be as simple as that but if it, you're right if it's something if this is another trick or whatever they're doing then yeah we got everybody's gonna be like all right what's going on why can't the I don't want to say like, I mean, they're not, I don't know, but why can't the government be like produce, you know, the, the princess, you know, why, why, who is this game? America, you mean? Just no, uh, to Prince Harry or oh, William like parliament. Yeah. And say, hey, listen, where's, where's the princess of Wales? What's going on here? Well, that's what's so strange, right? And here, Bird makes a point. It would be really weird if this was fake. That would be very suspicious behavior. But I think we all felt like that, right, Aaron, with the photograph. Like, nobody would assume that that's the photograph true. incident would have happened. Exactly. And, and now we're right here. One. And yeah. there were like, yeah, there were like three things about that that, and actually, Anthony, you were one of, you were the person that you said something about how, didn't William take the picture? And I just like went white because I was like, oh my God. That means nobody saw her. No photographer can say, I saw her. Right. So William took the picture too. Um, right. um, oh, I'm sorry. I, I lost my train of thought. Two was that um, nobody oh, the else saw thing, her. Yeah. The second thing was that- um, The, the farmer's oh, market oh, thing. No, no original photo. They were like, you know what would put this to rest? If we saw the original photo that you didn't Photoshop. And they were like, no. And right. it was like, okay. So it didn't exist is what you're saying. Right. And somebody, and this is all over TikTok and somebody, and I don't know who said it, but it's true. They pointed out that both time or th I know she has three kids, but there was twice where she was like photographed outside of the hospital in high heels, just like an hour or the next day, not an hour, but hours after, or the next day after she gave birth. Right. She was like back out there smiling in front of heels. And that person was like, they can't get a smiling video of her out to calm all of this stuff down. 
Yeah. Like, uh, it do- doesn't make any sense. Paul's describing me in the beginning, but once they put that photo out, I just felt as if, um, obviously, it just it just felt like there's something to hide. Yeah, she no, I agree. On, she didn't get on a phone call saying she's okay. You know, if you don't want to show your face, if you're puffy from something, you know, go ahead. So I'm just letting Paul know and everybody know that in the beginning, I was totally wait till Easter. But it, all they had to do was just wait till Easter. Same. Not, not do this terribly Photoshopped thing. Yeah, we uh, we were we we. You can go back and see the episode where we talked about this, and we were like, L- just leave it alone. Like, who cares? It's not. Yeah, if she deal. wants to lay, lo- if she wants to lay low for years, fine. But the fact that she said, "I'm going to lay low," or and and then put out these photoshopped things, and then we don't hear from her about it, and it's like, well, what? Then we get this apology but not you know we don't know where it's from then we yeah. get this video and it's like it's just everything adding up comes out to just a weird outcome hey if there's nothing to all this and we're all but fine but why couldn't she just pop on real quick instagram live or whatever and just go hey just here quote, i am yeah. just yeah. wanted to say thank you for your concern but everything's fine boom sorry we we you know for the misunderstanding, I'm fine. Uh, you know, everything's good. End of story. All I'm saying is, if this is if this is really her, I don't think it was the best way to go about it for a woman who's made so many wonderful choices, as I've said, followed decorum, did the right steps, did everything correctly. This is not the right way to do it. If that's if it's if it's her, and if it isn't her, I mean, we got to start thinking bigger. Yeah. Then why? What is this? Then why? all the fake stuff like what if it's not her where is she what's the problem you know what's going on it's such a weird like all right it, it's it's probably you know all occam's razor it's probably her you know we haven't seen her in months etc the surgery you know it's probably her but it'd be nice i mean if she would you know wave to it go to up to a camera or a a you shouldn't have to. Again, I'm not like saying every celebrity and, per- and famous person has to do interviews and whatever. But when literally the world is concerned about your well-being, a little "Hey, I'm okay," uh, you know, helps s- settle everybody's mind. If you're concerned about that, that sort of thing. It's all okay. Um, so Rose, Han- for instance, Rose Hanberry came out through lawyers and said that there, because here's all the rumors swirling around that William cheated with Rose Hanbury, that there's a baby, that Kate Middleton checked herself into a mental health facility to deal with the, the baby thing. Um, so Rose Hanbury came out and denied that. She said, it's not true. There's no affair. There never was. She said that through her lawyer. So at least that got out there because you have to do something, right? And by the way, this is all, this is all on a bunch of TikTok rumor that there's a major announcement coming on Wednesday from the Crown. They say that they've already told people in the media what it is, but that there's an embargo on. Um, Can't believe it hasn't leaked already. Well, that's what's crazy about. It. First of all, because and here's what pisses me off about TikTok: all these people are like, "There's an embargo." Like people who have no idea what the fucking news business is all about. You can put an embargo on a story, not for fucking nine days like it's or five days you can embargo something for a few hours especially something like this now if you're like coming out with yes you can embargo something for a couple of days if it's not a huge deal you know what i'm saying like mcdonald's bringing the mcrib back is like something you can embargo for a couple of days you know you send that stuff out to everybody you let them know this is the date you can start talking about it that stuff can happen Something like this, nobody in the BBC would know this four days in advance. It, it right. just wouldn't happen that way. Um, why even tell the media the story if they can't talk about it? Why not just come out with it on the day, on Wednesday? On the day. You're, you're right. But embargoes, embargoes do happen, for instance, just to give everybody like an example. When uh, Osama bin Laden was killed there was like a two or three hour embargo on that story. So certain people knew because you have to get, you have to clear network time. You have to like, you have to do certain things. So some people need to know, and a network's not giving you Sunday prime time during baseball playoffs, unless you got something real. So people knew, and it was embargoed for a couple hours. And even then it still leaked out a little bit like ahead of time. 
So, um, and plus everybody just speculated and figured it out eventually. But there's no four day media embargo on what's going on with the Royal Palace. So that's the first thing. Second thing, Rose Hanbury says, I'm not pregnant. There is no thing, blah, blah, blah. The other part of this crazy, and, and Aaron, let me know if you heard this. In the midst of all of this, her Christmas, her hurt in her finger, remember all that stuff, then announcing the surgery, people not knowing, mm-hmm. all that stuff. Uh, the uh, the king announces he has cancer. So the other part of this is they think that she gave him, I forget, what kind of cancer does he have? They never said. Oh, they never said. So they're saying that maybe she gave him a kidney and that's why he went to the hospital one day, which I doubt because he was in and out and, and whatever. But the craziest rumor I've heard so far, which is, part rumor and part real, which by the way, the Russia said that King Charles was dead. He's not dead. Don't try. Yeah. If you if you're listening to if Russia, your, your news source, then you gotta, you gotta do some rethinking. So, and that's, but here's, but it, it, it's worth mentioning because the palace responded to that. They felt they had to because it's Russia's it's a major nation. It's a, yeah. Like that. Right. So they responded to that. So if they could respond to that so quickly and say he's not dead, then why couldn't they just put a real picture out of her? It doesn't make any sense. But going back to Thomas Kingston died. He's a member of the royal family, this Thomas Kingston. People are circulating rumors that William was having an affair with Rose Hanbury while Kate was having an affair with Thomas Kingston. And then Thomas Kingston wound up dead And now they're saying that Thomas Kingston took his own life. Yeah. And that was, what, a week or two ago, two weeks ago that that happened? Yeah. It's just weird. He went had dinner with his parents and then went to their shed and and, and shot himself, which is very very suspicious. Like, it's just always so suspicious. Right. So... These things all could not be tied together, but you have to admit it's been strange in royal family land the last three, four months. It really has. A little bit of levity. This is kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, just because we were talking about embargoes and somebody, I don't remember who, in the chat was talking about doubles. So you said it's like an embargo. Um, you know, you're talking about embargoes, and somebody in the chat wrote, like when Dolly Parton came in second at a Dolly Parton contest, and I was like, why was there an embargo about that? But then I realized he was talking about doubles, and it just made me laugh. So if anybody heard me laughing, I wasn't making light of what they were talking about. I was laughing at that. There was no embargo about that. It was just talking about doubles, how they can be really, really great these days. Um, there was no embargo on that, though. But yeah, what's interesting about Rose Hanberry is these rumors were actually a lot more prevalent six, seven years ago. I remember hearing about this a long time ago, many, many times. And she did the never complain, never explain. She didn't say anything. So it's very interesting that even everybody has their boiling point and she's like, fine, I'll finally say something. No, I just thought that was very interesting because she's, she's kept silent for years about these rumors. They say that one of her, I don't know if she has twins or one daughter. Basically there's a child that I think, you know, if you want to, if you want to lean in, looks like him but also you know babies look like babies like whatever they look like combinations of everybody at some point i don't know i'm not trying to fuel the fire but i remember being like oh god couldn't the kid look like discernibly not like prince william like why does it have to look like a toe-headed little prince william like why you know i feel like she must feel badly about that too especially if she was faithful like what is going on Just a well, huge they coincidence. Were all, they were all close. Um, I think up until 2018, they stopped talking to her. And they kind of went their separate ways. The, uh, William, Catherine, and Rose were like tight. Yeah. And then in 2018, they split They split off, which further fueled the rumors that something had happened there. Because why yeah, would you just... Was talking about, maybe it wasn't six years ago, but that was when it was Rose Hanbury, a palooza, and she didn't say anything. Yeah. Well, right, well, right. well, that but that would put them even more because that's six years ago. So they would have been friends for prior to that. So you're right. I mean, they, they would have been tight for a while there before that whole split happened. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know what's going to come around on Wednesday, but um, you know, I mean, they got to do they got to do something because this whole thing is completely spun out of control. 
it's very suspicious and weird. Um, when you have the Russian the government and podcasters making shit up, I mean, it's, you know, that's a level that you got to. Could she be pregnant again? Maybe that's a big announcement. I wonder. I don't know. We could be anything at this point. Well, would you trust anything? Because that's my next question. We get to Wednesday and they say, hey, this is all what's going on. Depends. Depends on what they show us, what they tell us, what, you know. If she comes out and says, hey, you know, whatever, everything's fine, or here's the announcement or whatever, okay. But if someone comes out and goes, oh, Kate's fine, well, you'll hear from her soon. It's like, what? But I mean, you can't possibly, you can't possibly trust it if it's not coming from Kate herself, you know? If it's about Kate, yeah. I gave out the thing and any undesirable can just come right on. Oh, boy. Here we go. That's See what she what? Said. Well, I'm actually showing my face because um, I don't want people to think like I got Kate Middleton. So, right. Hold on. Let me get a look at you here because I don't. Ah! That's not. See, Jeez. the Janine I know, Frank, would never wear those earrings. I don't know about you. <laughs> right. And that scream was a little suspicious. I never heard her do that before. Yeah. Also, ah! I don't I don't think she has those kinds of couches in her house. I've ne- I don't Ooh. I've never seen this room in this ha- in this house. This it kind of look weird room. Yeah, it's a weird. It's not the regular the regular no. room. And those are new headphones too. At all, it's not. This is new all headphones. kinds of. Hold on, She's let's adjusting to her new eyes. You see that? <laughs> yeah, let's label this so people don't get. We've already yeah. had one false rumor to start the show. We can't have two. What was? I, I missed it. Like I, oh. I came on. Let's not talk it's about it. It's not that big do it a justice. Video. You have to see it. <laughs> you got to go it's back terrible. and watch it. It's you can't tell you about it. Um, I'm I'm just sitting in a different area right now. Uh-huh. Like where Kate Middleton's sitting. Like Area Kinda, 51. Yeah. Right. All right now, I don't want to cause further problems, but Janine came on and we lost Aaron. So see? I'm starting to think about it. I don't know if I've ever uh, seen the two of them right? in the same room together. Right, they might be the same person. That'd be. Could I'd, be. I'd have questions. <laughs> <laughs> You've had a lot of questions, right? Never mind. All right. Yeah. Should I check on Aaron? <laughs> I would check on room. Aaron. Yeah, I'm uncomfortable with everything right now. I just oh, back in the chat. Okay. Oh, okay. Hold on. okay. Hey, there she is. What I'd love to see is a is a a, a message from Aaron in the chat while Janine has her hands like this is what I would really love to see so we could put this all to bed. That yeah, would Aaron, be show show us today's newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> show us today's newspaper. Uh, it's good to have you back on and see your face there, J Sabs. Just for a few minutes. Okay. All right. Like I said, I didn't want to. Well, Start I didn't want to be. Right. I didn't want to start any rumors. Um, my hair are you in one of those mall massaging chairs? It does look like that. Good call, Frank. Did it you is put a quarter in that chair? Right it is vibrating. So, <laughs> what the, the chair? Hopefully, if I suddenly, if my eyes suddenly start to roll back into my head, All right. mm. yeah. All right, now Janine, I'm getting uh, I'm getting a message from a Peggy Bundy. She would like her shirt back, please. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, and this is why I don't show myself. <laughs> what kind of leopard ass print? That looks like it came straight out of my mother's closet. Look at that thing. What? Are you kidding? That's a Joanne These special. These are Victoria's Secret um, pajamas. Thank you very much. Oh, are they really? Yes, they, look- they are. I thought it was like a, uh, what do they call it? A blazer for a second there. That's what I, I thought it was about. a sweater. It looked like a sweater. Okay. Oh, my. You both are men. So that's it. Well, what am I going to say about Frank's outfit? He's wearing a black T-shirt. He's worn a black T-shirt every episode. Like, you know. You want to see? You want to see the shirt I'm wearing? It's, wait, it's Metallica or it's uh, what is that? Tom what? Jones. <laughs> oh my god! That, that's from the concert. I I saw him live in concert. Bought the shirt. It's a great show. Don't admit that. Don't admit that. You didn't have to it's throw your there, panties baby. on stage. Is all I'm going to say, and I'm just going to leave it there. You have to. You, <laughs> How many opportunities do you get? It's true. You get caught up in the moment. I get it. I get Wait, it. Is this the hidden room where the roommate lives? Yeah, basically. Yeah, the roommate. I let him out tonight, so. I expected oh, a well oh, made of brick. Hmm. Uh, Jay Sam's in honor of you. you. Cut out. 
in honor of us being able to see you, you you can pick the next topic. Anyone from the right or left, depending on where you or one of uh, your right. own, if you'd um, like. Let's go with who's Meryl Streep dating. Fun. Okay. I like this where we ignore the first three topics and we just go randomly throughout the whole entire. We talked about Kate Middleton, Rose Hanberry. We did. That was it. That was it out of the top three. <laughs> but yeah. I like it. Let's skip around. Screw it. We need to rules. Said, you said you said pick any of them. I did. I did. I'm happy to go with this. Um, so quit your bitching. Prominent comedian, huge star. Ooh, let's see. They've denied that they are dating. I have a hard time believing that. Is it uh, around her age or? Yep. Prominent comedian around her age. Lewis Black. Bigger. Bigger than Lewis Black. I believe older, age. too. Huh. Yeah. Who's the guy that, that he can't stop his leg? Larry David. Larry David's a good guess. No. I can't stop my leg. But my you're guy. in the arena. Oh, Aaron, Aaron C says Martin Short. Martin Short would be correct. Ooh. Let me just tell you something about him. I love him. Is that a shocker? He's amazing. Uh, Everybody loves Martin Short. Yeah, I love him too more than anything. Does anybody not love Martin Short? But I'm a little surprised that Janine does. Really? Why? Uh, I don't know. Does you hate seem... everything good? And also, he is short, actually. I think you need like a taller guy. Right. Oh, I think, no, I think he's cute. He's I hilarious. He... Did you feel that way before he got all old and wrinkly? Um No, I think he I think he is very cute. Okay. I love right. I love him in that show, that's why. Only murderers in the building? Yep. Yeah. Only that's where they that's where they met, right? Cuz she's on the latest the latest season, which I haven't gotten up to yet. That's right. Oh. She was a, that's right. Confirmed by Paige. Thanks, Paige. He probably started banging her during that uh, part. Probably. Maybe. Good for them. Oh, Maybe. wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on. I just saw a headline. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to. What? Don't Colorado. do this. I already did it. I'm sorry. I'm just going to have to put this in here. It just better be real. That's Colorado. all I'm saying. They get upset. Just, at, they get mad real. when it's not real, Janine. <laughs> <laughs> a Colorado grocery store worker has been charged with several accounts, several counts of indecent exposure after police allege he masturbated on food items. Where's your brother? It does not it does not say which food items there it is. Well, I'm sorry, I'm gonna need more information. It doesn't say what kind, but I mean what was it the roast beef? <laughs> I think it was on the kumquats. Oh. <sighs> All right, let's move on was from this. Those, wait, was <laughs> it those little pastry, those little like those mini cakes that have holes in them? This is what I need to know. Donuts? <laughs> the fuck are you talking <laughs> about? No, it's not. It's not. Cannolis? Yeah. DJ Shenanigan has a good question. It was at the toss your own salad bar? Uh, maybe um it doesn't say okay next you go okay back, back um to anyway uh both merrill and martin are denying the rumors but they've been spotted together an awful lot what two people mm. can't go out platonically friends at that age i don't know any age hmm I don't ever want to be involved in a platonic friendship ever again. Do you? I mean, I've, it's enough already. You have a bunch, don't you? No. Like me? Me. <laughs> Janine. I would I would categorize Aaron? you guys as acquaintances. Acquaintance. Okay, so you have no friends? No. Okay. No. No. I'm not surprised. Could you honestly see and and some uh, some if Janine and I are going out to TJ Maxx, something is something has gone horribly wrong. Yeah, fine, but do you think if Janine called you up and it goes, 
I, let's go to Marshall's. I, I pick up a. Uh, I need a new top for the weekend. Are you I going? Go, I go. What the hell are you talking about? And why'd you call me? <laughs> exactly. Right. <laughs> there would be something horrifically wrong. It would be that... weird. It, but if you weren't, you know, if you weren't married, if you, Janine wasn't married, you won't go hang out together. It doesn't mean you're oh, dating. Yeah, but I mean, but 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 we are married. Like that's what, well, I'm not. Didn't start with that. I'm talking about Meryl Streep and Martin Short. They well, can hang out. They're also yeah. cast members. They could be talking about the show. But that's my point. Even if I'm not married, like if, let's say, Cuddles comes to her senses, right? Ends the whole thing finally. I'm not going out with a girl to, you know, to go shopping tomorrow. It, either we're gonna we're trying to date or leave me the leave me alone. I mean, there's no there's no like let's just go catch up. Coworkers. They're co-workers, so maybe they, it's like co-working. Yeah, co-workers is a different thing, though, like when you have a co- like. Uh, well, that's I'm, what I'm saying. Is he already Short hanging Mer- out? Martin Short and Meryl Streep are co-workers. Are they not? You make a good point. I just don't like it. Mm. I don't know what to tell you. All right, where are we going next? TikTok ban. Jeff Jackson is taking it on the face for all of his shenanigans because he made his bones on TikTok okay. and then he came out and said that he voted uh, you know he, he voted against it and people were not happy with the fact that he voted against it and then he explained why he voted against it but didn't really explain because <laughs> his explanation was I saw something that I didn't like in there and I voted for this bill because I thought it would force the sale of TikTok, not that it would cause the ban of TikTok, which is the worst bullshit lie that you could ever say because people in Congress and the Senate vote down wonderful bills, wonderful bills all mm-hmm. the time because of like two sentences that say something has to be done that they don't like, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like there could be a bill to feed hungry children in America and somebody will tack something onto it and everybody will vote against it. And that see, I don't understand that. There that should be outlawed. It should be one thing at a time in the Yeah, you thing, should have to stay bill. on topic. I agree, Frank. Why why is everything jumbled into a bill? Now you have now you have to either prove all of it or none of it. It's like, no. Let's, let's do one section at a time. Let's vote for this thing. Then let's vote for this thing. What are you busy? Sit there, call out the things, vote for them. Don't vote for them. Let's. Why people vote down these things because the stupid. What they, what they call it pork. The stuff that that's added on. Yep. Get rid of that. Why? Why are you messing up perfectly good things? Let's mm-hmm. vote on each individual, and maybe more things will get pushed through. That's in my. <laughs> that's chapter eight of my book. What's fucked up about everything? That's the name of the book. All right, speaking of speaking of fucked up uh page friends return texts and go to the movies to bat go to the movies that, that's Anthony a has no that, that, that is a it's true it's a low blow page it, it's a low it hurts blow. when it's so true doesn't it <laughs> that was a tough one janine do you want to go to marshall's with me and frank oh god i would love to go to marshall's no but with me and frank she didn't finish the sentence though, was no because i mean that, no that was, okay that was messed up, Ginny. Would you like to go I'm to Marshalls not- with me and Frank? I'd love to go to Marshalls. <laughs> End of sentence. I'm not going. I'm not going with guys because there is no greater. I'd rather go with my kids than go with a male to Marshalls. Wow. Why? Wow. What's wrong with going with a guy? Because not a guy. Like- these guys. Oh, these. What's wrong yeah. with us? Because you're going to be looking at your watch. You're going to be just like, okay, can we go? Uh, are you ready? I don't like to be rushed to Marshalls. You cannot We're rush planning the trip. We're not rushing anything. No, that's not true. It's not true. Marshalls is rough, too, because from a male <laughs> perspective. Because, see? see what she just said? She doesn't want to be rushed. There's, an, there's this, uh, you're in a jungle looking for food essence to Marshalls. Because it's like. Yeah, you look at that rack, but there's 14 more racks where you could find right. like the holy grail of savings and blouses. All right, you, Gina, you go to you go to Marshalls. You're not looking for anything in particular, but you go there to do a little light shopping. How long are you there? Oh, God, light well, shopping. What a lie. Go ahead. 
Here's the problem. The one that's closest to me is probably the first or second busiest store on Long Island. That is the truth. I forget. Okay. I'm not going to Marshall's if it's busy. So I can't. But how I long are you? Say, how long do you spend shopping there? How long do you spend looking around, picking out what you like? Forget the line at hour. the cash register. I'd an, say an hour, hour browsing. Yeah. That's not terrible for a big store like that. That's not that long. It's, we know, if we're go if we're making a special trip, the three of us to Marshalls, we're not going to rush you. You know, we're, we're there to go to Marshalls. We're not there. This sounds like we're going to Marshalls on Saturday. I'm definitely not going. I'm not going to Marshalls, but if we we're did, not gonna if we were like, going. I'm like, speak for yourself. <laughs> you, you're make you were the one that brought up the idea for the trip. I did. You said let's go to Marshalls. So you want to go? <laughs> Is there a way? <laughs> I'm not Page going. But you guys, point. Go. Page brings up a good point. Is there a home goods attached? Because I could lose myself in that home goods. Home goods is cool because there's a lot yeah. of random shit in there. That, that's a lot of trinkets and knickknacks. And... I like. See, I don't know if it's if it's a guy thing. I like random shit stores. Like you go into a place and you and there's just doodads and gizmos and shit everywhere, and it's like, yeah, all it's right, I'm gonna play with all this stuff. That's see, like if you go to like a guitar center, it's all music based, but it's random. You know, you go to any, you pick up a bass, you go to the drums, mm -hmm. you go to the pianos, you go to the guitar, and you just spend all day in there. There's a, there was a store in the mall. I think it was e even called like Gadgets and Gizmos or something like that. And you walk up and down the aisles and everything was into you could, you know, uh, test everything out. It was all like, you know, these little things that make noise and this little thing that, that's a game and puzzles and stuff. And you could that's that's a store I can get lost in. That sounds right. like a wonderful. Song. I just thought of a star idea. What if we made a Marshall's, but in the back corner, we put like a sports bar? Like mm. comfy chairs, big screen TVs, and beer and whiskey. And so the girls, this is very sexist. The girls can go shopping and the guys can watch the game and have a have a, a brewski. I feel like that would make a lot of really? money. Because you increase mm. the amount that a, a, the woman would spend at the store. Now you're also getting eight bucks a beer. Right while it's happening you're getting money out of his wallet so you're talking about a mall i'm saying i'm saying <laughs> let's pitching the in, idea of a mall let's lean into sexist stereotypes a little bit to make everybody a lot more happy oh, yeah you know what i'm saying yeah i got gotcha. you you sexist bastard it's no. true but even in, even in a gay relationship girl girl guy guy there's one person that prefers shopping and there's one person that's like What's the score? Oh, you know what I'm saying? I love shopping. Like, you don't oh, think you're going to pony up to that bar and there's going to be a couple lesbians all next to you going, isn't this fucking great? It could be. Or having could brewskis. Be. That's yeah. a possibility. Not ruling it out. Any, you attach a bar to almost anything and you've got a home run, I think. We need more bar slash whatever. <laughs> right. Think? Bar yeah. slash yogurt shop. Okay. I don't right. know why, but I'm there. I'm like, I would love to go to the library if I can get a an old fashioned there. Can you imagine a no. bar slash library? You check out a book, you grab a beer, and you sit there and you're and it's just a reading bar. Be great. Now, do you mean old fashioned, old fashioned drink, or old fashioned, drink. old fashioned? No. Oh. no. Drink. 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 Not going into the bathroom. Not. Any, any holes involved. Not going anywhere my uncle would send me. Just I'm talking about a good old a fashioned whiskey. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, any uh, you touch a bar. I can't think of anything that would be not good for a bar. Pages all over the throwbacks. I'm waiting for the AOA movie theater. Remember the movie theater that started that conversation that was up for sale? Yes. It's being renovated, so somebody must have bought it. You seriously pitched me that. Yeah. I would love I that. Like, let's buy this movie theater. I'm like, yeah, but it's the movie theaters are not the biggest yeah. thing right now. I, I got you though. I got a bar. I, I pitched it wrong. It's my fault. I should have pitched it as a bar slash movie theater. They have those. It's true. Bar <laughs> library. I think nobody's going. To those. Right, yeah. Wait, I just want to know one thing. Yeah. Please tell me 
that either of you watched Larry David last night. No, I am a week behind. Um, I can't I'm like see 12 the, years behind. I can't stand you. I, can't, I mean, I can't. It's just the greatest. I don't I, I know. I know it is. I know it is. I, I, I've you, you ever seen a friend of yours just throw their life away and you can't, you can't yep. change their mind. I know. <laughs> now, you Why would just, just love start it. a podcast with me. I join a podcast. <laughs> no, I didn't see last night's. Was it good? Oh my god, it was hysterical. Like I, I love him. I love him. He's great. He's hilarious. And some things that he does reminds me of my father. I don't know, like the way he says, the way he does certain things. And I'm like, oh my God, is this my father? He does have a way with Vlad. episode, though, I hope it's not about my father. I'll just say that. Oh, no. I got to watch it now. No, I I watch (laughs) it. It's so fucking good. I watched the. the the storyline with Vince Vaughn and the girl from Disney was, I, I was <gasps> hysterical. Oh my God, I know. That. that was really hysterical. funny, right? It was so good. It was so good. Up to do. Oh my God, Frank, you have no oh, idea. I know, I know. Um, all right, next topic. All right, you pick this time, Ant. I'm going to go, let's run through the Boeing scandals very quickly. Yeah. Very, very quickly. Um, just to back up. trying to get rid of Janine? No, no, no. okay. No, not at all. Um, just to, just to back up our pal, John Burnett, who the investigation is still ongoing there. Um, Boeing has had a history of scandals. We looked it up and going all the way back to 2008, they had a disgruntled worker who cut wires on a military plane because they didn't get a job transfer that they were promised. Oh, not great. Right. No. He, by the way, that person was sent to jail for that. Rightfully yeah, so. I would hope so. I would hope so. In 2011, let's not forget that there was a drug raid on a Boeing plant uh, in Pennsylvania where charges were filed uh, for employees selling Oxycontin and fentanyl. Oh. The DEA and the FBI uncovered illegal prescription drug distribution at the Ridley Park based factory, leading to indictments against 23 individuals. And that was where they make that uh, Chinook helicopter over there, and also another big plane. So, a bunch of uh, drug people hooked on drugs making helicopters? Yep, more drugs. In 2014, a video surfaced of several Boeing employees claiming to claiming that their colleagues were on hard drugs like cocaine and methamphetamine while they were working, raising concerns about safety to the 787 Dreamliner aircrafts. That video got leaked, and Al Jazeera put it out there on the air, and they kind of blew the cover off the whole thing. Yeah, Al Jazeera had that story say that uh and that was the big thing that boeing doesn't do any drug testing if you're building airplanes you need to be drug tested and drug tested often i feel like if you're putting together rides at a carnival you should (laughs) anything where people could get killed or maimed or something can go wrong like that if you're running a library maybe you don't have to get drug tested if you're you know operating heavy machinery in some way there should huh. be drug tests. But you bring up a point, a great point in the carnival rides. Like that is the thing that should require the most amount of safety. Yet what was set up in an empty parking lot just three days ago, we're all like, let's bring the kids. And, yeah. you know, let's put, let's put all our children on this thing. This put them rickety on this thing. thing. Yes. Yeah. They're that, good. <laughs> yeah. That was just put together yesterday. It sat out on in the rain. It's probably fine. It gets moved. From town to town on the back of a truck. I can't see anything yeah, going you know. wrong. Yeah, good. Super crazy. In 2022, Boeing failed to act when two of its employees were caught in a love triangle with their supervisor. Um, this is according to a lawsuit. This is all according to a lawsuit filed in 2022. Don't sue me, Boeing. But they failed to act with these two employees that were both hooking up with a supervisor you're probably like what's the big deal in that well it led to a murder suicide Ooh, 
because as they do, as they do because it, it you know they didn't take any action or try and intervene or try and help or whatever and it got to the point where murder suicide i mean is that the inevitable outcome no but that's a lot of the times up. Is it? You have to know when you're cheating, the second you put it in, somebody might die. Somebody might be dead here. Is that the thing? I think that's got to come with every, you know, that's why cheating is so amazing to me. It's like, how, how do you, I just. There's no justification. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean it's so amazing? <laughs> what do you mean it's so amazing to you? I just think it's. Outlandish I, and, and. Yeah. Far-fetched. Now, listen, I understand what it's like to not be able to control yourself because I'll go ahead and finish that pint of Ben and Jerry's. So I I can relate to a degree, but I also feel like nobody's going to die really when I do go for that second half of Ben and Jerry's oh, outside else. of myself. Yeah. Right. <laughs> outside of me, possibly, you know. Um, but even still, like that's the like, you, you know, when people go, I couldn't help it or uh, what do they call that impulse? Yeah. When it's, it was like an impulse, like it just happened, like a, I, I I don't know. I've never really experienced that in a cheating. You know, I've never been in a situation. First of all, if you're in, if you're putting yourself in that situation, you're already in, you know in trouble. You're already you open to the yeah. You're already kind right. of courting it. Right. right. It's it's like when I go to the store and I buy that pint of Ben and Jerry's. I am already setting myself up for that situation to come about. I can't be surprised when I actually you're, you're do it. Doing right. You know what I mean? So I, but I don't understand how somebody gets themselves that crazed or crazy. I just don't, I don't get it. And I never have gotten it. And I don't think I ever will get it. You know, yeah. maybe it's because Frank, people are dying to cheat with me. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's part of it. <laughs> that might be never the really biggest part crossed of your, Never really crossed your desk. <laughs> never really been in this never really had a chance to be like hold on hold on i am married <laughs> whoa sweetheart let's uh let's slow it down here a little bit uh, but anyway you know what i'm saying like so i can't but i can't imagine to getting to that point and doing like because somebody's gonna be fucking somebody's gonna be dead somebody's going to be dead there's there's that risk you know, I mean, it really, it really, really is when it, when cheating occurs and somebody doesn't die, that's a fucking miracle. That's a yeah. fucking miracle. Yeah. Cause, cause it dry, you know, that kind of thing, the person getting cheated on g g just snap and that's yeah, I'm a passion kind of thing. It's, it's messed up, but it, and yeah, to it be, happens. to be caught in a work, like to be that, first of all, that supervisor, I mean, you already got all the sexual harassment stuff that you're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? And now, oh, it's it's. I guess they were like, well, once I cross this line, I'm just gonna cross all yeah. the lines. Yeah, yeah. It's not know. good. It's not good for anybody. And then, of How course, did we, we get on this. Oh, the, the, Boeing, right. The Boeing, yeah. And then in 2024, the FAA found multiple instances of quality control issues, a lot of which that John uh, Barnett had alluded to, and of course, John Barnett's showing up dead. Uh, uh, self-inflicted gunshot wound supposedly, allegedly, as the investigation is ongoing, is the latest in this long line of what is happening over there. Because right. you just want the people that are making your airplanes <coughs> to be responsible enough to control workplace affairs and drug use. And which things is, like yeah. that. Just small things. But which is why I'm kind of in favor of AI taking over a lot of the stuff that we do. Yeah. I wouldn't mind AI putting together the planes. That might not yeah. be a bad move. You know, you can't factor in human error. They're just going to, they're going to do the job. And that's that. Maybe not, you know, the ones that could go, all right, maybe I'll, maybe not the AI that's looking to, to take us out, but robots, give me the robots. That'll do it. The ones that are programmed yeah. to do that job, not the ones that are going to learn and, and mess with us. But the ones that are programmed to do that specific job, fine. Agreed. Did we finish the TikTok ban? I told you that Jeff. You talk, yeah, I talked about the guy, the senator. Yeah, he took it on. Oh, but so the point, I don't think we said this, though. To wrap that up, we're all over the place this episode. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, he goes, I saw. Oh, that's right. The wordplay. Because he goes, you know, we talked about the changing laws and, you know, voting against bills because they have a little thing in them. 
he he goes i saw something that i didn't like and that's why i ultimately voted for it and it's like why don't you share that with the rest of us right what is it that is so horrible that china is getting our data what more could it be that you seen that you can't share with that's the american what I'd like to know. public I, why yeah what is it i mean again yeah you're right let's what's the threat let us know what the threat is right and maybe we won't be we'll be like yeah get rid of it because don't you think because everybody always screams at the government let us know talk to us let us know um and i think that most of the time the government doesn't say shit because they're worried about panic okay and all right fine but if you're telling everybody that china can listen to us through our phones right now i don't think that that causes as much panic as you think it might you know what i mean I don't think you're going to have people throwing their... I mean, if I legitimately came on here and was like, China's listening to us through our phones, we'd all be like, all right, well, we have to figure out how to fix it. We wouldn't be throwing our phones out. You know what I'm saying? We wouldn't. There wouldn't be rioting in the streets, I don't think, over something like that. There wouldn't be, I don't think they'd be rioting, but people would be jumping out of TikTok. You know, they'd be deleting TikTok. They'd be deleting a lot of things, yeah, which could be bad, but still... That's why, see, and that's why, and this whole thing of all of a sudden Steve Mnuchin's going to buy it. Like, I, I don't like Steve how, Mnuchin, what the yeah, that's the rumor that he's putting together investments, investment, he's lining up angel investors to, to buy. And it's like, can't somebody not oh. associate, like, with our Go government? <laughs> I'd rather Elon buy the fucking thing than, than this weird path of, like, oh, our government fucking made it force the sale and then steve mnuchin bought it like it just uh, doesn't seem yeah, right we, I have, if, let's give it to someone we trust how about steve mnuchin get the fuck out of here yeah i don't fucking Which, trust steve mnuchin more than i trust fucking china to be honest yeah, not to go dark calls on anybody but um uh, yeah that's really that's 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 really it yeah, that's not on the TikTok ban. So, uh, uh, and that's, it's more of my issue with jeff jackson if you did see something mr straight shooter to TikTok. Put it on tick to tell the people. Unless it's classified, you can't do it. But why would it be classified? What is it? Why would it be how what how fucking bad could this thing be that we can't know? Maybe it's aliens. Maybe it is. I don't know. Um, let's go to the Caitlin cast. Okay. Maybe the best story of the week so far. And I know it's only Monday, but Caitlin Jenner is teaming up with Long Island. The, <laughs> What would you say? Long Island. Long Island. He is, but go ahead. She? Caitlyn Jenner's teaming up with Long Island, did you say? Yeah, isn't he coming here to do a talk about... She, uh, okay, no. Frank. I would just say she. Wrong? She wants to be a she. Just say she. Uh, anyway, Caitlyn Jenner is teaming up with Lamar Odom to launch a new podcast. What about? Oh, Oh, I really thought that. Never mind. I, I read that completely wrong and mashed two things together, and thought you were going to talk about the Long, Long Island thing. But I guess it's really late, and <laughs> my ears are, and eyes are not working correctly. How, how okay. much have you had to drink today? Surprisingly, nothing. Not enough. Not yeah. enough coffee. How about that? Uh, you know I don't listen to celebrity podcasts, Frank, and I will not be listening to this one. But I will be looking at the things that people write about it after listening to it. And uh, what else could it be other than, well, they're calling it Keeping Up With Sports. Cute. Oh, Instead of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. All right, a sports podcast. Okay. But sure. let's be honest. It's going to be all about, people are going to tune in and be like, how does it feel to be not in the Kardashian clan anymore? Like, that's mm -hmm. what everybody's going to want to hear. Well, isn't he still a part of the, he's not a part of the, it's still there dad you know they're their dad right is there, she's she's still their dad oh yeah i mean she's still it's weird to say she's she, is she still the dad or is she another mom now i don't know how she likes to be referred to anyway i don't know either but guess it doesn't really she's matter still a part of the family what do you mean she's not a part of the family still still a parent true but right. not on the tv show not really in the whole kardashian <laughs> oh okay ecosystem you can, know can she use the keeping up with I'm shocked that she can. You would have thought that that fucking who's the who's the uh, the mom? What's her name? Um, the hell is her name? Chloe. It's not Kim. Chris. No. Chris. That one's a fucking. 
She would. Shark. She's she's the one that controls everything, Shark. right? I'm surprised she hasn't fucking put the old trademark on keeping up with. Right. I would but be shocked. I guess any you know. I guess you can't unless yeah. it's keeping up with the Kardashians. Yeah. So we'll look for that first one of keeping up with sports to see what they say because if they don't talk about the Kardashians, nobody will give a shit because who cares what Caitlyn Jenner and Lamar Odom of all fucking people think about? Yeah, I don't care sports. what Caitlyn. I don't care what Caitlyn Jenner has to say about anything. And about anything, Lamar Odom about anything, unless they're talking about how shitty they were treated by the Kardashians. That's yeah. all I want to hear them talk about. Uh, Donald Trump is a week away from having to fork over this $454 million payment. Oof. And oh, wow. if he doesn't come up with it, well, a few things can happen, but ultimately people are speculating that Letitia James could start g grabbing his stuff or forcing him to sell some of his buildings and some of his assets. But I what's, thought he was a billionaire. What's amazing yeah. about this is... When I heard this, I go, oh, this is bullshit. This is mainstream media bullshit. But as it turns out that the source of this story is actually Trump's lawyers because they filed an appeal. And in the appeal, they said that they have gone to 30 firms, financial institutions for backing so that he could post this, uh, post a bond to yeah. satisfy, like to, to, to figure out all the payments and everything. And all 30 firms turned him down. Oh, I know. Okay. It's sad. Sad Gene, that happens. Gene, help me, help me through this in a non-biased way. Because I know where Frank is on it. It's not going to be non-biased. I'm sure there's a bias one way or the other. But isn't that bad? I understand that you're in appeal, but isn't that bad to come out and say, nobody will give me money? And we went to 30 yeah. When was the I mean, last time you got rejected by 30 of anything? I mean, oh. I don't even think I've gotten past a four. Like if if the fourth time somebody tells me no or so, on something, I'm going to be like, all right, I guess this is just not happening. I'm not going to keep going 26 more times. I mean, I didn't have many dates in high school, but other than that, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> got, a few, got a few rejections right. there. But um, 30 is so, a lot of rejections. 30 is a lot of rejections. It's true. But I thought, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't Trump say he was a, in the billions? Didn't he have billions of dollars? He did say that. Now He said that a lot. He's a to, be fair, to be fair, that could mean with assets and everything else. That doesn't mean he's liquid a billionaire. Well, whatever. He's, if he's got it, he should be able to pay it. Well, the, so, this, so now why won't anybody give him money? And the only logical conclusion you could come to is those properties are already mortgaged. Meaning he, he went to these firms and said, I, I own Trump Tower, I own Mar-a-Lago, I own this, I own that, I own this. I, I'm good for it. Can you, get, can you front me the money to pay this? And they all said no, which means that... Yeah, because he there doesn't might pay be, anybody. There's more, there might be mortgages and shit already on all those properties. Yeah, so because he doesn't... You think he's going to pay that back these banks? He doesn't pay anybody for the jobs they do for him. So why would he pay back anybody in, in any way? He's, it's not, he's not the most credible person you could lend money to. That could also be part of it. So he has a week to post that bond uh, in which $112,000 in interest will accrue daily. Ooh, damn, that's a lot. It's starting on Monday, Jeez. if he doesn't make that happen. Now, a couple of lawyers are just like kind of like coming in, like what could happen, this or that. Everybody seems to think that she can make him sell those properties to get to, to start to get that money. Of which, again, if you, you know this, if you sell a property that's mortgaged, you don't get to keep all that money. That the money's got to go back to the mortgage. You, you got to pay, pay off that the mortgage. You got to pay off that mortgage and then you take whatever is left over. Yeah, it's not uh, it's not looking good. This, you know, I like I always I, I think of Jim Carrey's thing in Liar Liar. Stop breaking the law, asshole! And uh, they won't come for your money. And he owns a ton of buildings in the city, so mm -hmm. and she could go after those first and foremost because mm -hmm. that's her jurisdiction. It's New York. Yeah, that's what <laughs> but, it's going to come down to. But they're also saying, ask uh, Jared Kushner. He just got two billion dollars from. 
Let's go to the Middle East. Where's, where's Kush? Where's the Kush? What's up with that? Borrow um, bar, half a bill, you know. Yeah. Why wouldn't yeah. he lend his, his father-in-law some money? Maybe that's why the daughter stopped coming around, because she doesn't want to give dad right. any money. Maybe. Um, yeah, so, I don't know. We'll have to keep our He's appealing it, of course, obviously. And that's what this letter was today, was to appeal it. So he appealed having to pay, I forget what it was, like $40 million of it or something, and they denied him. So now he's just appealing the, the whole thing. I don't know if it's a good strategy or not, but it's a strategy. He's like, yeah, I'll, I'll try it. Yeah, he's just kind of throwing everything up against the wall, which I totally get. Yeah, his lawyers will come up with something. But we'll see. Yeah. Uh, last topic I got is to Dune or not to Dune. What is this about? For, have you seen Dune? I haven't seen Dune, and I haven't seen the sequel, and I haven't even seen the original Dune. Okay, Janine, have you seen uh, the original Dune or the new Dune? No. Okay. Dune is breaking bar. It's it's doing big numbers right now, from what I understand. Maybe not Barbie numbers, but the sequel, right? The sequel is is out right now in theaters. Right. And now I'm starting to hear like the review, like people are talking about it, and then everybody says, "Well, Dune one was really good." Okay. And then I get this thing the other day from somebody, and they go, "It's a side by side." And whoever sent this to me, thank you. I'm sorry. I, I can't. I just can't keep track of anything anymore. It's a side by side explanation of Dune, which I cut off like 12 seconds in because you know me, I like to go on cold, no spoilers. But basically, they're saying that Dune is Star Wars, that it's almost wow. identical. Oh, so what the hell? This, you, you, are you talking about now the original Dune, or did they just, is it the same story in the new Dune? Yes, because it's, it's a sequel. Okay. Right, but there's no, no, saying, no. I mean, I mean the one, the original Dune, before the one with Zendaya and oh, was there a Dune before this? Yeah, the the Dune, there's Dune one and two that's out right now, the newer one. Before these two came out, there was a Dune decades ago that was made. Okay, now is that like a prequel or did they just remake the Dune? I don't know. It, was, it came out in 1984. I don't. I think it's a remake. They just remade the movie. I don't they just think remade it's a, it. Okay. Yeah, that, so the original came out in 1984. Um, so and the new one, Dune one and two, that just came out within the last five years or so. That's I I I don't know, but I think they just remade. Um, the the same movie. I, I don't know if it's a new story or not. I don't know if it's a sequel. I think it's just we're starting again with Dune. Because I don't know how true it is, and, and I don't know how much, I don't know if it's exactly like Star Wars, but to the point where they say, and again, because I, I tapped out before any more details were, were spoiled for me, but they say that, um, who's the guy who did Star Wars? George Lucas. Thank you. George Lucas read the Dune book and then went and wrote Star Wars. Oh. That he ripped the whole thing off of the Dune guy, whoever mm. the Dune guy is. I don't know. I don't know. Forge Mucus, I think his name was. Uh, Forge Mucus. I think that's what we should name the thing that came out of JSAB's face. The other day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it didn't come out of my face. It came out of my nose. Which is on your. Fuck. <laughs> Oh. When you say face, it makes it sound like it came out like it was like a pimple. Thing. No, I know. Oh, gross! I know. There's no telling where that thing came from. That's true. But <laughs> Star Wars. All right, Mercury says no not true. I'll show you. What? <laughs> uh, Mercury says I'm biased, not like Star Wars. David Lynch directed Dune in '84. I didn't know that. I, I missed the '80. I was two years old, so forgive me for that. Yeah, but Star Wars is. My one of my, if not my favorite movies, those three, and I love the whole lore, the whole universe, the Star Wars universe. I love that stuff. That's my that's my bag. I haven't seen any Dune. Uh, I haven't seen the original in '84. I haven't seen the newer ones, so, and I haven't read the book, so I don't know anything really about it. I don't know the story. Um, so, and I've I've never heard of you know. I think I I heard a, this thing about George Lucas maybe this year but i haven't heard it in the past i don't know so you knew about this and you chose to keep it quiet 
I heard mainstream a rumor media. about it. mainstream yeah. media. I didn't know what it was. Question. Yeah. yeah. Frank. So yeah. when are you going to um, Hollywood Studios to visit Star Wars Land? I really want to go to and see Star Wars in in Universal, right? In Nope, it's at Disney. It's at Disney. Disney. Oh, it's at Disney. Okay, it's in the Disney part. Okay. I would love to see that. Uh, but it's Can all, I break yeah. can I break some news? Uh, yeah. Don't tell the kids. Uh, but we're we're trying to go in December. Oh, all right. Very nice. You want to come? Are your kids into Star Wars at all? I don't know what they're into. I don't really talk to them. Okay, that's good. Hate to break it to you. I'll be but, there for you. Yeah. Okay. So let, let's talk about this. So Cuddles and I have been planning this Disney trip for a little while. You've probably heard us talk about it. Sure. In fact, I know we've told you about it because we were trying to go last year or the year before. And we've always been saying like, wouldn't it be great? Blah, blah, blah. So now we're like, z- z- like trying to hone in on it. We're waiting for flights to be released before we figure out when we're exactly going. Cause that's like the most important thing to us. I would love everybody to come. Everybody in the live chat too. I'm going to tell, we're going to yeah. tell everybody. It's nice. Um, yeah, I just, we'll have a party. Um, but we're waiting on the flight. So I haven't really said anything. Right. So, uh, but December is the time that we're going to go. So it, cuddles tells me the other day, she's talking to Janine and she mentioned this, like, you know, and then Janine goes, oh, I'm going and like, I forget when she's going, but not December. Sooner. Yeah. We can't all go together. We can't all go together. I don't understand what's like, we can't all go together. We can't make it a thing. I didn't think that you like me enough since I'm just a, an acquaintance. I you don't. You, do. You're right. Ooh, I don't. That's a great point, Janine. I don't, but it hurts to get rejected. So I'd Jeez. like to be the one rejecting. This is one of... 30 to come but wait i didn't well i don't know if i want to tell anybody else's personal business but somebody else we know is going to can we tell can we say that part well i don't know um, who yeah. else it is. oh i think it's good uh her brother's going too same time as you gene yeah but we're not going together why why aren't you going together um because nick has a very specific uh rule it might be a de- adapted into a law about going to Disney with other people. But it's like the kids, the cousins hanging out together. Yeah, it wouldn't be no, no good. Never mind. Yeah, Rhoda, Aunt doesn't like new vacation friends. That's true. Is it because you make too many vacation friends? Actually we're meeting people we met on vacation. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god. god. Oh my god. All right. So let me get I this would straight. Do that. Let me get this straight, Frank. One of our co-hosts, our best pals in the whole planet, soulmate, if you will, right? Mm. Um, going to Disney would rather go with new people she met on a previous vacation than the two of us. That's <laughs> a, that's it's kind of fucked up. Doesn't that hurt a little bit? It hurts. It sting, stings a little bit. After just just moments ago on this episode, I was talking about how profound our friendship is altogether. <laughs> yeah, but you wouldn't let me. You would go with me to Marshalls and then. After seven and a half minutes, go, uh, how much longer are you going to be in here? No, I don't think I said that. I think I said, let's get a beer and turn this into a party. I think that's more of what my approach was. Right. That was closer. Um, so you were thinking of telling all of our friends, like, hey, we're all going to go? So my, and you can, and you could ask my wife this, hand to God. I said, as soon as we have a time, because there's a difference between planning a trip with everybody yes, and inviting it right when you plan a yeah. trip with people you you go all right we'll all figure out when we can make it I, we don't really have that kind of luxury this time around because of just a lot of different things so it's like we kind of have to go during this time period so as soon as we have our dates i am literally going to tell all the friends and i'm literally going to tell my entire family because I wants to go, we'll be there. You can go, right? Because I feel like Disney is that type of place where you literally do not have to have the same itinerary with everybody else. You guys, yeah, you, you meet up for with, dinner, you, whatever. Yeah, you could go a whole day or two without seeing those people, and just you plan a dinner 
and maybe a second dinner or a lunch or something that you, that's your group activity. And then everybody go, all right, you go with, oh, they're going there. Okay, we'll go over here. You know, whatever it is, you have you make like a fucking thing out of it, you know? Well, that that I'll actually probably do with my my brother, hopefully. Jeez, I would hope so. Jesus. Not a, yeah, it's only your brother. Here's the thing where it gets a little tricky because of the new, like, Genie Plus and um, Lightning Lane thing. Like, you have to reserve. It's like, it's confusing. What's explain. your brother's rule for, sh- for for going on vacation with people? He He said, Disney, absolutely not. Oh, well, he doesn't want to go to Disney at all. No, I mean he won't go to Disney with anyone. Why not? I I, I don't disagree. Well, here's the thing: you can't expect to do. He's not the the spirit of what he's saying isn't wrong. Because you can't. Well, right. that's what I'm saying with the with the new Genie Plus and Lightning Lane, right? Say say. Oh, you're gonna get dragged behind. You're gonna be like he'll be ahead and get online and get on the rides really quick, and then everybody else will be waiting well, online. You got to wait for everybody. Right, because you. There's not like a guarantee that you guys can go on the same rides together at the same time. Because there's like windows that they give you now. Like I think it's 40 minute windows. Like you can enter between this time. But if my time's not the same as your time, then we can't enter together. There's got to be something. I mean, that that if I when I go to a place like Disney or something like that. I would probably just wait on the lines. I don't, I don't know if there's lightning. Ca- How it's does so that new though? Stuff? It's yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think we, we haven't been. I don't know about Janine, but we, you and you or I haven't been to Disney since they. All this stuff is a, the last year or two. They, I they, went, we went to Hollywood Studios for one day two years ago when it was good to, it was husband's fortieth birthday because I took him for the Star Wars stuff, and they just roll they rolled out the Genie Plus two days before, so everything was brand new. The problem is they have changed, not really problem, but they've changed it since then too. Well, why can't it all be lightning and genie and whatever? Like, <laughs> let everybody get go. You know. I don't okay, so this for example, class. I if you don't want to miss our because Frank, you will be waiting there. Th- the wait times are two or three hours, and I'm not kidding. That's you. ridiculous. So what's they the, what's the point long. of even going? It's like you spend. All day there for three, four rides. Well, that's ridiculous. So that's why. We, that's why I won't go during a. I will go during the least busiest time. That's right. why we're doing it because I. So I can't do that. For the ride, uh, which is probably the best ride I've been on in my entire life, and I, I will say that here. You heard it first on the AOA podcast, and people do say it's probably the best ride they've ever been on, the Rise of the Resistance. Two years ago, two and a half years ago, it was extremely popular. So what I had to do was wake up at right before seven o'clock and keep hitting that refresh button to get a window time. To Like I was there, I was on it at like 6.58 and I got it. And I was like, oh my God, yes. Do you know that? Everything was sold out until 6.30 that night. So, and I got it at 7 o'clock on the dot. So there's so many people waiting for this same thing. So how, you would probably wait two hours to get on the ride? Where you? How long did it take you to get in? Um, okay, so I'd say the average re- uh, wait time was two to two and a half hours for this Right at that time. Well, this it was new though, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't. I think yeah, things was, have calmed down a little bit, or no? They've calmed down, but it's still a wait. Believe it or not. So, all right. So they are like, all right, enter this, enter the queue at between six twenty-five and seven twenty-five. So we get online. And guess what? The ride is shut down due to technical issues. Oh. So what is what does that mean? Uh, it means that you kind of have to hover around the ride or keep checking on your phone to see when the, when your time is gets picked again. That's a pain in the ass. So we waited about, we hovered around, we weren't online, but we waited around the area for 45 minutes. And then it, it like pinged on my phone. It was like, okay, you could come in now. So we just walked on the ride then. 
there is there was no wait. Oh, there was a wait for people waiting. Yeah. And it was as good as they said. Like they say, it's like a revolutionary thing. This this fucking oh, ride. Oh god, it's so. Oh my god, I was like in awe of it. I and I do like Star Wars. I'm not as much of a fan as someone here, but the way they did it, I I was like, wow. Okay, well, this is why people wait two or three hours. So if you don't have that, you will be waiting. But of course it is, it's extra money. But at the same time, if you have two young kids or even us, we didn't want to wait. We were like, fuck it. Okay. So you kind of have to go around that. So I understand if like there's multiple people who don't have linked reservations to try to get the same time. It's tough. It's very tough. Yeah. Well, it's tough to begin with because hotel preferences the way people like to go to the parks what parks they like to go to and when what rides they want to go to everybody has their own thing that's why when you go to disney and by the way disney world for everybody asking in the comments usually people on the on the east coast say go to disney world we don't really go to disneyland all that often no um everybody's got to go at their own pace that's what you can't have a you can't have like a tight itinerary for all huge group for i can't imagine a, a worse vacation hell than trying to organize mm-hmm. multiple parties for a disney trip because the, like all the things you just listed the, the hotels the flights the, the different t- different parks the times you want to do it these passes that every some people will have and some people won't and organizing all that the best you know there are trips that you can organize with groups that are way easier like You know, you go to like a tropical location or just like a beach, you know, something like that. Because there's everybody's kind of on the same page. Right. Exactly. Almost everything. This is, it's got, there's so many moving parts. It's got to be a nightmare. It's a nightmare. That's why it's like, okay, if you could nail down a week, you do, which for us, it's, there's only one week. So that's why, that's why the invitation's coming that way. If whoever wants to come, comes. But even if you were planning it together and you figured out the week, all you could say is, let's block off Tuesday at at uh, six for dinner. We'll we'll pick a place and all have dinner together. Right. And then Thursday, <laughs> maybe Thursday morning or something, we'll do breakfast. And then, by the way, here's where we plan on going the entire time. If anybody would like to join us at these times, great. Yeah, and right. Text throughout the day. Hey, we're over here. This is pretty cool. The line is short. Let's you know everybody meet us right. here. You, you keep in touch throughout the day. That's not a big deal. Outside of that, you literally you just cannot do it. It just can't be something that you, you're with everybody in a party together the whole entire time. It's just impossible. Unless it's like two families and everybody has the same passes. Right. Unless it's, yeah. Once you get like to ten, once you get to ten people or plus three flam, three families plus, it's forget it. You, there's it's, there's it's no way. There's no way of doing it. So anyway, December yeah. if you want to come. Okay. That's where we're planning on going is December because no bullshit though like. December is such a fucking great time to go because the Christmas shit that time. they got. Yeah, it's, no, they have so much. And it's probably not as as ridiculously hot. It's not as ridiculously hot. There's really like one and a half to two weeks where it's not insanely busy there yeah. in December. Because uh, it, it gets crazy for Thanksgiving. Then you get a lull in the beginning of December. And then it just starts to ramp up again right around right before Christmas. So. Man, I would love to see that Star Wars thing. The Star Wars thing, and I mean, I don't know. The funniest thing was if you've ever seen the video on on YouTube of uh, they have all the Marvel stuff there now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you ever see the Spider Man thing where there's, where they have a dummy swing across on a web and and like flip and land in like a net? Yep. Did you ever see when it break when it breaks? Yeah. <laughs> the thing just lets go of the thing and it slams into the wall. <laughs> Like, oh. I think that's that is California, funny, though. I think that's oh, is that Cali- California. I think that one is right because it's like the Avengers base. campus. Yeah, yeah, I think that's California right now. Uh, I don't think don't that's in that? Florida yet. Okay, I could be wrong. Gee, am I wrong? I could be wrong about that. No, you're right. Okay, only- so that's California. Wait, you said Spider Man? Oh uh, yeah, Spider. Well, it's the Avengers stuff. Well, like they have the Spider-Man- compound. Spider Man is in Universal. But Spider-Man has got to be its own thing, I'm sure. No, it's different. Cause, uh, well, Spider-Man's at Universal here, but the thing that you're talking about is Disneyland. 
right that is in california yeah yeah it's weird because spider-man and the hulk i think are still in universal because they were licensed out mm -hmm. to sony and universal weirdly it's like a weird bizarre thing wasn't the hulk at like great adventure too didn't they yeah. like hulk ride or something the whole coasters yeah 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 because stoney had the license to do before marvel properties became what they were they licensed those things out and spider-man and hulk were were one of those things so there is still pirates of the caribbean right yeah that's still there that's still good. why don't you calm down in december come for a couple days even Aaron and i already are going on a on a kind of a long vacation uh, a couple months before that. Hey, hold on, let me check my email to see if I missed an invite. Hang on. It's not really. Uh, Hang on. You know, I don't think anything that the kids would enjoy. I don't see anything. That's a shame. Yeah, no. We don't, we also don't want you there. <laughs> so. What is it? Can we Do know? You want to take a two week cruise? Yeah, I would love to. Let's go. I would love to. Going to going to Europe. Taking a. Little... Are you doing Europe? We are. It's going to be nice. We talk about Europe all the time. I don't think that we're ready. I don't think the kids are Have old you enough ever, yet. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Have you ever been to Europe? No. Yeah. No. But I'll tell you what. It's funny that you bring this up because just yesterday, Cuddle sends me this listing. She found this website for <laughs> for Tuscan villas. You're telling <laughs> me there's not one villa available in Tuscan? Yeah. These are one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's like all these properties in Tuscany and they're like dirt cheap yeah and so she starts sending me them and now so since yesterday all i did today was look at these fucking things and we have just been thinking could we do this though really like we could sell our house buy a huge place over there have plenty of money to renovate it with all the amenities that we want we're just trying to figure out if we could run a sheep farm <laughs> <laughs> um i said uh, the stupidest shit frank things like things came out of my mouth yeah like, i could i could shear a sheep how hard could it be i'm like we'll open up a little pizzeria could you imagine the guy from new york is gonna go to italy and open up a little pizzeria yeah <laughs> and, and one thing in italy needs <laughs> it needs a pizza <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna go to the beach and open up a sand store and we'll sell <laughs> sand and salt water so that should be that should be fine. <laughs> These no are legitimate there. conversations that we have been having in the last 24 to 48 hours. Were you, was there ever a moment in your mind where you were ser seriously considering running a sheep farm? A sh a sh uh, not a sheep farm, but I know that meat farms are a big animals. Are, they're a big deal there. Like a livestock kind of thing. You would livestock, like, yeah. So you would have like a farm where you would raise animals that you would, that, that would be uh, sent to be butchered or to, like sheep for wool or like cows for milk i'm gonna prefer. say yeah i'm gonna say yes because not for my desire to do that but just because i know that's a big part of the region is livestock. i don't think you, you wouldn't do it I, I no i don't think i could do it either you have to get up before five yeah that's that's, that's number one my days of doing that ended in 2019 <laughs> that yeah. is not happening any longer your kids will have to work the field or whatever the hell you're doing. I don't oh, forget know. it. I can't even Is there get a them. field when you have Adam? I don't think there is. Maybe there is. Right, there's probably some, They'll get to tend the rabbits. That's all. Tend the rabbits. All I to <laughs> Tell them about the rabbits, George. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> um, no, my kids can't even fucking throw away a potato chip back after they eat. They're, they're just fucking animals. They're animals themselves. You know what? Can I raise animals? Yeah, because I'm raising two right fucking now. I probably there you go. There's so many different types of farms, though. You could grow, th you know, uh, vegetable farms. You don't have to. Doesn't maybe it could be that. Maybe it could be a uh, uh, agriculture. You know, do a little. Maybe. What could I do? Though? That's the thing. Like I, I don't well, know. Well, you have. That's the thing. You got to research the town. Yeah. What does the town need? Is there a need for this sort of thing in that area? Uh, yeah. You know, that's that. You can't just go there and be like, I'm going to raise sheep because next door, you know. Joe uh, Fugazi's got a whole sheep farm that he's that he's been there for centuries, and you're not going to do very well. Those Fugazi, uh, those Fugazi lamb chops, sheep, they're, they're phenomenal. Good. Yeah, they're you good. You, you can't beat them. No, can't be beat. No, but I th but because what, what I want to do is I want to wake up late. I want to read the paper, look at the you beautiful retire. view. Yeah, 
I want to then go down and have a, a fucking muffin or some bullshit pastry. Mm-hmm. Cappuccino. Have a cappuccino, walk around a bit, then go have lunch, then have wine at three o'clock. And... You want something to do between meals. Yeah. But but that something has to be enjoy the view. Yeah, I want to retire. And I said to I said to Cuddles, I go, I think we this is what I figured out. I could probably go a year and a half before I would really have to really start earning some income. <laughs> oh, I have to get a job. Shit. Well, you you probably start off by working in one of the local shops. And yeah. you, you you raise in the you rise up in the ranks where maybe you run the shop and then you know. What's scary is to be my age and have no discernible skills. That's the scariest part. I'm like, do you think they need a podcast over there? <laughs> Maybe the podcast can can function from there. Well, that goes without saying. I, th- this would not end. I would just be doing it at a different time than everybody else. But it'd be it'd be noon for you, and it'd be yeah. eight at eight p.m. for us. Right, exactly. But all I, the time differences. And maybe I'd start an Italian podcast of some sort, yeah. which would be this, You'd which is a lot more language. of this. Yeah, yeah. Did it would be an Kate English Middleton story. Yeah, every now and then he'd have, he'd hold up a loaf of bread or something, Italian bread. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Drink some wine. Yeah. I don't yeah, know, I, I just, don't. I don't. I don't see it. Did we lose Janine? A while ago. Long time ago. Oh, yeah. long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I could it. see. I could see you retiring in Italy. Could you live in Italy for a while? Yeah, I mean, it depends. Like, I, I could live. Depends on the area. Like, can I live in the middle of Rome? I don't know. It's the same. You know, it's a busy city. Venice, I, I'm sure, would be cool. Florence would be probably amazing. Or Ven- or um, yeah, Florence would be good. Anything like a countryside where it's a nice little town, cobblestone streets. The the stores are nice, tight. You know those paintings you see. Of Italy, Italian streets, like that kind of neighborhood. Yes. That'd be that's, nice. That's exactly where I want to live, is in a fucking Italian cobblestone street painting. That's yeah. where I want to be. Yeah. With the wooden signs hanging off the, the fucking, oh, above the door. Yep. And you just walk down the street, hey, Giuseppe, hey, how you doing? And you know everybody, and it's, yeah. yeah hey, come, you know, we got the local taverns are all, all over the place, and it's, oh, you know, everybody kind of knows each other, and. That's it. Yeah. You got the bakery want, over there. You want to live in a place where it takes you three hours to do a 15 minute walk because you're stopping to say, you're just stopping to chat with everybody. Right. And you That's see nice. them all the day before, but you still have so much to catch up on. It's nice. It's nice. And then you just, you walk up the hill to your house and there you are. Yeah. That's it. And the house overlooks the water, maybe a big field, a couple mountains in the distance. Every day you get up and you go, what do I want to eat today? And that's what you have to do you have to go and procure those items around town. You just walk down, grab them, fill up your basket. Yeah. And uh, a, get, maybe no fucking BJ's. No, there's no, it's all there's no. locally grown shit. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Oh, it's fucking great. It would be great. Well, during the pandemic, remember all those people that moved over to, to the Mediterranean and started eating. Didn't no. change their dietary habits at all. They were just eating a lot of Mediterranean food, and they're losing like fucking thirty pounds because there's no processed. Because all fish and vegetables, glucose ascorbate in in their fucking you know food and shit. I am out of glucose ascorbate. Mm, I gotta get some. Did, did you check on your paprika? Their smoked paprika because there might be. If the bottle was empty, I may have seen it, but no, the bottle the paprika is full, so I can't see through it yet. Uncle Glory Hole will still, I swear to you, like 45 minutes into us getting together, goes, What's going on with that smokeback freak? This is still there. That's still, oh, that, lives, there. that lives in his head rent free. Oh, it's there, baby. Yeah. 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 So you're out for Disney? Probably. Maybe Just next for, year I'd go. Oh, next come, year. Come for a couple days. Come for two days, two or three days. Do it in January, right after the new year. I can't. Jerk. There's no Christmas magic. That's what I can't. They still do the Christmas stuff in, in the beginning. Yeah, it's not the same. It's just not the same. Uh, this is it. People don't get. I explain this to my parents too. You, you have with kids. You have a win. There's a window, and we're about oh, to leave the Disney window for my son because he's eight. No, 
you can go to Disney your entire life, but first last... time I went, I was was ni- I was nine. Okay, yeah, yeah. exactly. You but can. I could have gone three years later and been fine with that. You can go at fourteen and it's still unbelievable. And seventeen and twenty two and twenty five. I'm forty and I go. Such so a fucking rush. It's never as magical as when you're in that little window. I guess. That first time, like to be honest, that first time you probably remember. He's still never... gonna be in that. He's still gonna be in that window in January. It's only two, three weeks later. I couldn't hear you. You're breaking up. Um, <laughs> Damn it! Uh, don't forget to get uh, the uh, Oval Book from. Hold on, I'm just looking for the copy. It's in, it's inside. Okay, hold the book up for the people. It's oh, inside. Oh, it's oh, over no. there. Okay. Oval is available uh, via digital download now and hardcover like Frank's holding right there. There you go. Boom. Link in the description. Buy it if you love Aaron. It's a wonderful um, book. You'll absolutely love the book. It doesn't let you down at all. Uh, we'll see you guys on Wednesday. Enjoy your Tuesday, everybody. See ya. Go meat potato salad. Maybe we should go now. Go ahead.